Hi, this is Bishop Bob Coulter with another TMCI Word of Encouragement for the Week. This week, God led me to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, which says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. The Lord has a call on your life. He has placed you in this time of history to do a good work for him. You know, Paul admonishes us in Scripture to be steadfast in the work of the Lord. You know, steadfast means to be resolute, dutifully firm, determined, unwavering. Holy Spirit gives you the unction to do something for the Lord. The Lord expects you to put forth your best effort with the Holy Spirit's help and tie his work until it is completed. You can be certain that Satan will do everything in his power to get you off track and discourage you from completing your assignment. But remember the warning in 1 Peter 5, 8 and 10. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same suffering are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Even Christ was tempted not to follow his assignment. He was tempted by Satan in the wilderness. He constantly had those religious leaders trying to stop him. And even Peter, one of his disciples, rebuked him after he told the disciples of his upcoming crucifixion. One of the most difficult things in ministry is when friends or relatives do not believe in the assignment God has given you. They say things like, you don't have the training or resources, or etc., Uh, to do the, the ministry. But God is always faithful to give you the wisdom and knowledge that is needed to complete the task he's given you. He will also give you the resources you need to complete the task when you step out by faith. One of the most difficult things in ministry is when a trusted worker in your ministry betrays you. Jesus experienced that when Judas betrayed him. Even Peter denied him three times. When I first came to help lead TMCI, I went around visiting ministries who had not been in contact to us for a while. Many of them were no longer ministry. The primary reason was someone that they had bought into the ministry did not have the same vision and ultimately destroyed the ministry. This is why it's important to have somebody walk with you six months to a year before you put them in leadership position. This is especially true when they come from another church or ministry. This gives you time to make sure they have the gifting they say they have. It also allows you to make sure they have the same theology you have. And if they come from a church split, I suggest you have them walk with you one to two years to make sure that divisive spirit is not attached to them. So, when you must be immovable in your resolve to accomplish the ministry that God has given you. You must be like Christ, as Scripture said in Luke 9.51. Now it came to pass, the time had come for him to be received up. He steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. Let us be confident in abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. The work you do for the Lord will affect eternity. God's word never comes back void. In closing, I'd like to share a short testimony about Dale and Naomi Hitz from Wyoming. They've been ministering to sheep herders in the Wyoming area for years. And they're in their 80s and still have the zeal and energy for what the Lord has for them. They recently shared that they, in December and January, they had traveled 8,000 miles visiting sheep herders in the Wyoming and area, neighboring states. And they uh, passed out over 70 Bibles. And one man said, you know, I don't know how to pray and I never read the Bible. But he says, now that I have the Bible, I will read it. And what blesses them is when they go back year after year, they find the men still living for Christ. And on the way home from this trip, they were looking to to minister to one other sheep herder, but they couldn't find him. 
So Dale said, well, I guess the lot is through with us for the day. And as they're driving along, they saw a light off in the distance, and they took a dirt road, drove down, and found found the the, uh, the house. And there was ten Mexicans there, sheep herders, and two were sleeping, but the eight weren't, and they led those eight to Christ. They went a little further after that, and they saw another light, and they went down that road and led four more people to Christ. You know, steadfastness has its reward. Have a blessed week.